Hi, hey everybody. Once again, my name is Clint Neal, Greg Spiro here, and we're going to show you a little bit of self-defense. Uh, this one's a little different. Um, it's a type of being attacked that most guys wouldn't experience, but certainly possible for a lady. Uh, and that's not a knock on ladies. It's just most bad guys are sissies and cowards. Absolutely. So they probably wouldn't grab a guy like this, but they would a woman because most women are smaller than the guys and a guy will feel confident because he's attacking somebody smaller than him because he's a coward. Uh, so I'll show you these three. And as always, if you have questions, you can feel free to ask in the comment box below. Uh, hopefully if it's helpful, thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, let's get started. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so in this scenario, I'm playing the, the lady or you know the guy that is just unfortunate that another guy's attacking like this. Yep. So I'm walking along. He grabs me from behind. Okay. Now, this is a very uncomfortable scenario because I can't really get away. He's strong. So, one way that I could loosen his grip is deliver lots of pain. So, what I would do is, boom, stomp on his foot and then lower my body weight. As I turn, his groin's exposed. Whack! Hit it to the groin. I duck underneath, have his shoulder here. Okay, that way he's already got a busted foot, he's in pain, his groin, I'm not stopping here. My next move, wham, elbow right to his back or his neck, and then run along and call 911. Uh, the good thing about this one is, once again, to loosen his grip, I've got to deliver some pain. A lot of women wear shoes yeah. when they're out. The spikes. Yeah, they're spikes or have at least a wedge here or whatever it's called. I think it's called a wedge right now. Um, but yeah, that would deliver such, I mean, you probably break the guy's foot. Yeah. That's going to loosen his grip. And the next move, hitting to the groin in close proximity. So once again, he hits here, stop, turn. He's loosening his grip. I duck under. Notice how I grab that hand? Because if he starts to move, I hit him in the shoulder, whack, right into the back of his ribs, his neck. And then I run, call 911, and ask for help. So um, that's the first one. Okay, in this scenario, um, I'm once again playing the, the victim, walking this way, and Greg's the bad guy, and he grabs my arm. And yeah, and I come with me. I was like, I don't want to. So that's where I trap, get him off balance, so most of his weight's on that leg. Boom, bust his knee, turn. Notice how this open part popped it up. His grip's off right into his jawbone, his neck, push him to the side, I run for safety. So it's literally just those couple moves. So once again, he grabs me. It's one of those oh crap moments. I don't want to go with you. So I trap. The reason why I trap is as soon as I start to do something, he might let go and they could tackle me and do something else that's worse. So I grab, get him offline. He's going to want to resist and pull. So that means that weight's on that leg, which is going to make it easier for me to break. And plus, while I'm holding on, it helps me with balance. Bam! I turn. See that thumb? I break through that grip. Whack! Hit him right in the head. Push him away. Boom. And once again, the good thing about a knee break or severe knee sprain is... He ain't get up. <laughs> yeah, and I don't have to be very fast. Even if, as a bad person, I'm wearing shoes that aren't good for running, I'm going to be able to run faster than a one-legged guy. Joints break. Very easy. Yeah. So, you know, I know the classic thing is always go for the groin. Once again, that's a movie thing. Guys are expecting it. We're real quick at dodging that. But you don't usually try to block and protect our knees. So go for the knee. If you want to hit him in the groin, really don't punish the guy. Just get away. Don't, once again, you're thinking you want revenge or something. That's not safe. Just bust his knee, take his hand off of you if he didn't already take it off. Just, once again, thumb side, because if you see he grabs me here, yeah, grab, grab again, I can't go this way, because this isn't open. I have to go thumb side, now I can do whatever I need to, yeah, see that? you know, so I could go to the thumb side. Disengage the contact, whack, boom, 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 whatever, and get on the safe. Okay, now in this scenario, once again, I'm the victim, poor me, he's going to choke me. Well, that's not good because if he's serious <laughs> enough and he chokes the life out of me, I'm dead or severely injured. 
either scenario is not good. So that guy grabs me. So I got to move real quick. So he grabs me here, but he's not choking me. But let's say he is choking me. I want to move quickly. Okay. Now my back could be against a wall or lots of space back there. I want to trap. I could go to either side, but I'm going to this side because it's closer to the camera. Come over, sweep. Notice what's open. His face. Whack, whack, whack. I have this arm. I pull. He's off balance. I can pick a knee. Whack. Bust his knee. There's his back. Hoo-yah! Bust him right in the elbow. I mean, use my elbow to bust him in the back. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right. Here's the same as the last one. He's a choke scenario. Uh, just a slightly different angle. So he's coming and he choked me. I trap, come over the top. His hands aren't protecting his face. Bam! As many times as I feel necessary. I already have him here. Grab. I don't care about this other hand because he's, he's bleeding in the nose and knocked out his teeth. Boom! Bust his knee. Whack! Or I might not have to. I just stunned him. I hit him in the face and neck a bunch of times with my elbow and then bust his knee. knee so once I start running, He's not going to be able to chase after me. He's going to have one functioning leg. And so that's now going for me being a potentially victim, either death or, you know, badly hurt, or who knows what the bad guy has in mind, yeah. to a potentially, you know, now I'm safe. Doesn't always work that way, so don't try to start a fight, obviously. But in this case, um, he attacked me. I got to defend myself. Nobody is else around to help me. Yeah, I got to do it. But then call 911, because once again, Sometimes bad guys come in packs, so you don't want to have his buddies come after you. So, uh, um, yeah. All right. Well, there was three potentially uh, realistic scenarios that uh, mo mainly a woman might find herself in, unfortunately, or potentially some guys too. Uh, so, you know, hopefully you never find yourself in that predicament. But, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment box below. Uh, if the video was helpful and you liked it, don't forget the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so you'll see get notified with my future videos and uh, thanks Greg for helping me oh, you're out. You're welcome. Always enjoy and, it. Uh, Protect yourselves everybody. Yeah Protect and uh, we'll do some more self-defense videos and uh, more scenarios but Absolutely. I'm gonna win all of them because um, <laughs> I'm the okay. I don't want to lose. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Have a great day. Later. everybody.